For the upcoming video game Star Wars The Force Unleashed, UC Berkeley professor James O'Brien used digital molecular matter, DMM, to increase the realism of the game environments. One of the jobs, one of the things that a video game tries to do is basically create a simulated world where the player is able to interact and, and play. And DMM is a way of taking parts of that environment and rather than just having it be static and unmoving city in the background, have it be something that uh, is simulated and the, that the player or the user can interact with. Rather than just have required that the game designer sort of make stuff up, uh, sort of everything is a special case, that you say this is a wall, it's made out of plaster, and the rest of the simulation figures out. You know, one of the things that happens when you play a game, uh, if the game is done well, or if you go see a movie, if the movie is done well, you sort of have the suspension of awareness of what the situ of what your real situation is. You you no longer are aware of the fact that you're not that the scenario that you're looking at is something that is just on your computer screen. It becomes real to you. Um, part of what makes that able to happen is that you have a consistent um, world that your game world that um, is able to provide the expectations that you have. For example, if you if you see a glass wall, you you might and you're carrying a bazooka, you would expect that you could shoot out the glass wall. By taking these more realistic simulations and putting them into the game, you, the idea is that you now expand the world and also expand in a way that's re predictable and reliable, and that increases the feeling of it being a real environment that you're working in. Right now, it's being applied to uh, this uh, video game, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. Um, but the same technology that we're putting into that can also be used in other things. Here at UC Berkeley, I have graduate students who are working on, for example, a surgical simulation code that uses very similar ideas, but now instead of simulating uh, you know, some strange plant, uh, plant from another planet uh, that, you can, you know, that deforms and does weird things, it's now being used to simulate um, prostate tissue for uh, prototyping a surgical procedure. Same, the same exact type of simulation, the same exact type of ideas and the code and the algorithms, but the difference is you know, very different applications.